Hey, you know how Hashi Benasma Isham. Yeah, this is Benasma again, and today I'm here with Omar Jubil. Yeah, and today we are here for him to share his step one experience. And, but before then, I would like to introduce him a little bit. Omar Jibril is a Jordanian, and he's a fifth year medical student of Nanchang University. And he has been my classmate, my uh, friend, and my brother from another mother for over this past five years. And I took my step one fourth year and I shared my experience. And he took his fifth year about three weeks ago. Yeah. So today he's here to share with us his experience and how he felt during the examination. I'll be showing videos of his real day exam. Yeah. So bro, thanks for agreeing to share with yeah, us. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So my first question for you is why did you decide to take your assembly? And, but before then, we want to go and see his real day video. And Mr. Coffee Man. It's going to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're entering, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. How many of how many you want to attend? Step one while I'm still an undergraduate student. I always thought that after I finished studying my own five years, after going back to my country, doing internship there, okay. then that time maybe I would think of giving a step one. But something happened. You gave a step one. And it got me thinking twice about it. I was like, uh, okay, fine, my basics are not bad right now. If I give myself maybe a few months, six, seven months, I can do it. I mean, uh, the whole experience about the step one is to uh, test your basic knowledge about the basic sciences. And I didn't want to go for the clinical subjects before finishing all my basics. So I was like, okay, I'll finish my basics, then I'll go for my clinicals, which is what happens in US as we know. That's a nice one. I think that was the same thing that Push me for this one. You, I would be like the lady's mother. You've been continuously monitored by video. Really? That's good. You have to have more evidence from communicating this point, mm -hmm. publishing, mm -hmm. producing, or transmitting any part of your test in any mm -hmm. form. That is my opinion. You must not talk to other candidates mm -hmm. or refer to their screen. <laughs> that was when you were in there. So what if I do all this? It's going to be different for this, right? It's going to be different for this. You don't have to look at that. Okay, so my next question for you is 
I know we are not permitted to share the information in any means and any ways, but um, how, how was the impressions like? Because for me, for example, I remember that I got so many behavioral science and mm -hmm. statistics questions, yeah. So how was your impressions like? For me, I was expecting the same thing. I was expecting that I would have a lot of questions about behavioral sciences and statistics. I guess I was lucky because I had maybe even three blocks, completely three blocks. I didn't even have one single question of statistics and behavioral sciences. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I was glad that I, I had these kind of questions because even my statistics questions and behavioral sciences, they were straight. Like, just you have to some numbers, just minus this, plus this, and that's it, you'll get the number, the number and that's it. Not, not even questions, you know, some questions about statistics, about interpreting some information from the result, from the study, or I'm, I didn't get any of these questions. Okay, so what about other, which one was more in the questions? Was a lot of pathology more? questions, a lot of pathology, pathology, a lot of pathology questions. Okay. Uh, physiology, not that much. Um, pharmacology, they were very simple, just mechanism for action, uh, not very deep about, like, just normal things, side effects, so that's it. Microbiology was not even that difficult, it was normal also. I'm saying normal because it's very similar to your word questions. If you do your word questions, I'm not saying they're enough, but they are the similar pattern. Yeah. Thanks, man. Um, so, uh, let me ask you this. So, which you know, how much score are you expecting, like? Um, how much? Uh, the thing is, it's difficult to say because you give the questions, there are 322 questions, some people they say there are some experimental questions, some questions, because it's percentile, not percentage, so you never know how much you will get. But at least, at least, what I expect is like at least more than 230. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah, that's, that's nice. So, um, I know it's seven hours long, um, yeah. actually eight, including the, the yeah. breaks, eight hours. Yeah. So, how did you take your breaks and um, how was your timing? Because for yeah. me, when I was writing, every time I had five questions, no, five minutes left, they would just alarm, 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 alarm me and mm -hmm. I had more than ten questions to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so was your timing okay? Was it enough for you? I, I think the timing for me was okay because like I was doing each block is one hour, each block has forty six questions. I finished like almost the whole forty six questions and I had five to six minutes like oh, really? uh, extra, yeah. Oh, okay. But there were not enough for re revising the questions because you mark at least I marked maybe twenty questions per block. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe they're not that difficult, but because you're not very confident, sure, like yeah. you have to go again, and maybe because you don't want to miss these simple, small questions. So it's like I mark it. So you don't have time, five minutes to revise when you write questions. Yeah. So you, you think your timing was enough for you? I think I think the timing was. And how did you take your breaks? Was it before I I take this? I took the step one. I wanted to take. <laughs> that was really funny. I wanted to take three blocks then one complete hour, then four blocks. Okay. It was a stupid idea for me doing that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I took the three blocks and I was like completely frustrated, completely tired. I just want to go and just like, you know, I'm done with questions. Yeah. Yeah. So I took another 15 minutes okay. and then I wanted to take two blocks, then another 10 minute break. And then the last two blocks, I did one block, then five minutes, then the other the block, okay. last block. I didn't use all my break time. I had another maybe like 10 minutes or 7 minutes like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, man. thanks. And um, my next question is, mm -hmm. so there are a lot of people you know, maybe watching us now or watch later and they're very scared about US assembly and the whole preparation and the whole exams is scary to them. So yeah. what is your general advice for people like that out there who are listening? Well, it's, it's normal to be scared. I mean, it's one of the biggest exams that you can ever give for the basic sciences, Actually, especially. the most difficult exam, yeah. Exactly. So, you should be scared. But uh, being scared, actually, I think about it's something good. Okay. Because if you're scared, that means you care. If you care, you can 
give this extra effort. You can do one last page of first aid. You can do one more question of your word. You can do this one more step that the others cannot do. And that will differentiate you from the others. And I would like to, to tell them that this is, I know this is a big test, but don't think about only the result. I just want to pass. Think about the whole journey. I mean, someone said, I will study and prepare myself until my time comes. This is your time. This is your moment to shine. So just put a strategy and stick to it. That's powerful. That's powerful. So, uh Thank you for participating in the United States Medical Licensing Examination. Okay, let's, let's, let's come here, let's come here, let's, let's, come, here. Let's, let's come here, let's come here. Show, show me there. Your name is not even clear now. The date, it's not clear. It's okay, doesn't matter. Done. Eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> nice Man, <work>. congratulations. Never get past Okay, you go. I want to go and have the biggest sandwich of the thing. Okay, okay. so we're going to make um, Subway, right? Whatever you want. I have no problem. This one eat. This one eat. This one eat. So how do you feel now? I don't care. I don't know how I mean. I'm so happy. I'm just so happy I'm just finished. I don't care how long before I'm just finished with it. That's it. That's it. Good luck. You, you've done all the work, man. So yeah, this is us. We're finished. Going back. Respect. Wish me luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Seems different. I see. It seems like the, the world is even more colorful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems light for you. <laughs> you don't care about anything. <laughs> How do you feel now? Well, at the beginning, during like after just after I finished the exam, I was like, definitely I'm gonna fail. There's no way I'm gonna pass this exam. <laughs> but at the same time, I was relieved that I finished the exam. I was happy, like, even. Though that I might fail, I didn't care about it. I just like finished something big in my life. And then after that, the sweating part starts. Um, at that, I mean like last two weeks or so, I, I, I didn't feel anything, I didn't think about the results because it, it's still like, it still has some time after two or three weeks. But right now, as the results are coming soon, <laughs> I actually feel excited and scared at the same time. I'm very excited. I want to know my mark. Like I gave my self-assessments. I gave almost like two years of my life for this exam. And I want to know my result. But at the same time, I'm, I'm really scared. I, I don't know uh, what might I get or something. Yeah, I, I also remember when I was also waiting for it. And I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything. I was just there. You keep dreaming there. about it. Keep dreaming about it, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, man, thanks for your time and thanks for sharing with us. And um, he'll be receiving his result this week or next week, and he'll be sharing his experience, preparation experiences, um, the score he got in the practice test, and also the materials he used. And I studied with him personally, and he he got two fifty six in. U word assessment one and then two sixty five in yeah. as U word assessment two. So I know that he's going to rock it and wish you all the best. And uh, Thank you. but don't forget to 
like or share or comment or post any questions because we'll be doing the next video next week or next two weeks yeah so but most importantly don't forget to subscribe stay tuned um we can gaoshing gani me show ba zai jin now the hard part is uh, the waiting and the waiting yeah the anticipation is the worst part <laughs> No, during the exam, you don't care about waiting. You just want to finish. You just want anything. to finish, man. But right now, you have all the time to take your <laughs> <up> results. <sighs>